Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Harper Harp. Thank you for subscribing to my channel who are subscribed. Please hit the notification bell. Please hit the like button and comment and share your thoughts under the discourse. Also, you can donate to my channel by going to the subscription and there's a cash app with King Waikiki dollar sign King Waikiki. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and the dialogue that comes from this channel and this individual. Thank you. This is Harper Harp. Gen ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters out there, we understand that we are in movement. We are in movement and we are in political warfare and we're in movement. The most important thing is that we're in movement among political warfare. We've always been in political warfare, but it's a definitely a war now because what they have tried to do to us is bind us down until they actually execute the insufficient in the death of black society. It is a very serious uh, weapon they have been using. And it's the code of conduct and it's common law and also benign neglect. And we are here to shut it down and to actually exercise our authority, our principles and what's in the mandate to actually implement what's in the mandate and what should be in the mandate concerning our lives and our safety and our safety reparations is a luxury however it's not just a luxury it is a safety kit in terms of living in this place in terms of what we should be able to do to be in safety. Now, I shout out to the Black Authority, people like Tariq Nasheed, my brother, Black Authority. I see him as a mentor. I don't even know him personally, but I rem my spirit married to this man's intellect. And before I even known who he was and come to learn out who the Black Authority was, Jason Black, my mindset and my intellect was already in this place, in this in in this in this type of passion, as as a as a self preservation and as a divine existence, divine purpose, to be able to share the ideas of community and my people, family is first, black first. And I mean that in a sense of every sector of life. That is what should be. You cannot take care of anyone else until you take care of yourself. The new voices of black media is a very sophisticated engine. It's a sophisticated tool for our, for our, for our greater good. And it's always been sophisticated. Always. I've been talking on my channel for the last five to ten years, and I haven't been able to capture as many followers because I'm so busy. And I'm living at FBA, American Negro, a lifestyle where I have to perform. I act in a administrator. I'm an administrator. I'm on corporate I have been a barber, I did this, I did that. I did a lot of stuff, but yet I don't get a pass and escape from being the American Negro. On both sides of my family, I am a descendant of slavery. And that means something. That means in terms of my group and in business, I have been separated from that which belongs to me but yet, I serve in a very important department in enterprise. And I mean, there's things that we create as descendants of slaves. 
for enterprise, for community, for business that largely the community benefit from, but we don't own it. And I am a threat. People are a threat that are speaking this way and they're talking this way, but we have an idea and a movement, not a leader. So everybody can get on board and they don't know what to do with us. We have opened up the media apparatus and it's hot and it should be. It is not easy for us to do this and I myself for to do discourse, but it's a passion and it's necessary. Because we have been suffering at the hands of denial and neglect by our own people who have been chosen to be minions of those that are largely have captured us into a subservitude among enterprise and finance, economics, and political strategy. And that is slavery. When you cannot feed from that which you build and deposit in, that is slavery. We're not chattel slaves in turn being in a field, and I said it on a lot of my talks, but in terms of the apparatus of wealth, we are them. We are the battery and not the beneficiary. But we give to this society. This is what we do. We give to it. But I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk more. Thank you for joining me. I have a little meeting to take and I'll sit down and I'll give us a good discourse. Thank you for joining me.